Hey guys, welcome back to the 10th inning and welcome to our very first through the mail autograph returns of the new year. The last video were returns from the previous year. This is the first ones that are actually being opened up in 2024. So as always, you can uh, check out sportscardform.com and sportscollectors.net if you want to look up your own addresses. I've got some videos up on my channel if you want some advice on how to start and some autographs to pick. So other than that, let's get to it. We got six returns this week. Let's get to return number one. Here we go, return number one, kicking off 2024. I got this one back on the 26th. It is coming from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Let's see who our first return of the year is. That'd be a good one. Somebody who did not return the card saver one. But I see football. New York Giants, Sean Lendetta, the punter for the Giants. Early 90s, looks like he signed two cards for me. Very exciting. We'll start off here with 1991 Pro Set Platinum. Wasn't sure how this one would turn out with all the, the black in the background, but it actually turned out uh, fairly good. So there's our first return. Take a look at the back. There we go. And then here is one of the favorites on the channel here, Pinnacle, and this one always turns out great. Another solid return. Love the design of this 1991 Pinnacle. So there we have it. A two of two return from a former punter, Sean Lindetta from the New York Giants. So that's a good way to kick us off. Let's get to return number two. All right. I got this one back on the 26th as well. It's gonna be coming to us from El Paso, Texas. As a reminder guys, stick around to the end of the video. I'm gonna do a recap of all the returns of the week and show you guys my favorite return from each player. And I wanna hear you guys in the comments as well. Here is return number two and it is Earl Boykins, former NBA player for the Denver Nuggets. I believe I just had one card to send off to him. So there we have it, two Kyle Earl Boykins, number 11. This is 2004, 2005 Sky, Skybox Fresh Ink. So turned out really good. Um, yeah, you can see his autograph, just a little hard to see on his name over here, but that's all right. We'll take a look at the back of the card. So these are kind of thick card stock. Um, I think they would uh, look really good at, if we maybe had like some silver marker or even red. Um, would turn out really, really well. Just a little too dark over here, but overall that's a, a great return from a, a really fun player. I think he was very short too. He's, yeah, five foot five, 133 pounds. So I think he's the second shortest player in NBA history next to uh, Muggsy Bogue. So there you go. There's a 101 from Earl Boykins. Let's get to our third return of the week. And our third return of the week, got this one back on the 26th as well from Tulsa, Oklahoma. This is one of the newer um, cards I just sent off because it's got the holiday stamp on here. So Tulsa, Oklahoma, and we've got Steve Largent, former Seattle Seahawks wide receiver with a one of one return. Very exciting. Had an amazing NFL career. Great receiver for the Seahawks. Signed this one nicely in blue ink on this, um, I'm going to say 81 tops. Way off, 78 tops. So there you go. Was coming off a 33 catch, 643 yard, 10 touchdown season. So 101 from Steve Largent. I think he's in the Hall of Fame. I could be wrong on that one. Maybe he's just in the Seahawks Hall of Fame, but either way, we're excited about that return. And we've got, looks like three more returns to go. Let's get to return number four. And our fourth return of the week, got this one back on the 26th from Mobile, Alabama. This one's definitely on the thicker side. Probably a three or four card return. And here we go. We've got one dog, Lance Johnson. Oh, super cool. I think I sent him 
probably four cards. Yeah, so two of them he put in, two of them he didn't. Um, I appreciate him taking the time to send those back. Wow, I wasn't sure I would get one dog back. But uh, here we go, 1990 Upper Deck, Lance Johnson, one dog. He was named, nicknamed one dog by uh, one of my favorite TTMers of all time, Ken the Hawk Harrelson, the uh, voice of Chicago White Sox baseball. Here we have 1993 Tops. Super cool. Man, I am so excited we got these back. Ah, oh, look how great this one turned out. The 1992 Fleer. Man, that set is tough to, uh, to beat on autographs. And then here's 90 Tops. This one always looks great with ink. Ooh, that's going to be a tough choice for me on which one's my favorite out of these four. But there we go. A four of four. Unexpected from Lance Johnson. Um, he had stopped signing for a little while, and then I saw he started signing again. So kind of a shot in the dark, hoping I'd get him back at some point. So can't remember how long they took, but it'll be up top for you guys to see. Uh, but there we go. Let's get to return number five. And here we go, our fifth return. Got this one back on the 26th as well from Charlotte, North Carolina. Let's take a look inside. This one feels a little on the thicker side too. Here we go. Okay, former Vancouver Grizzly, Kenny Gaddison. Awesome. Let's take a look here. 1995-96. This is the year uh, the Grizzlies were the NBA expansion team with the Toronto Raptors. So... Wanted to get this one autographed. This looks great. Super cool card. And uh, I know we sent him a couple more. I think three cards or four cards in total. Looks like three. So here's 1991-92 Upper Deck with the Charlotte Hornets. Flip that around here. And then our last one, 1991-92 Hoops. I'm about to slide this one off the table. There we go. So a nice three-card return from the former power forward, Kenny Gaddison. Played his college ball at Old Dominion, Phoenix, Charlotte, the Grizzlies. And I don't know if he had any other stops along the way, but... We got a couple Hornets and a Grizzlies card sign. So there we go, three of three. Let's get to our final return of the week. All right, sixth and final return. Got this back on the 30th. I don't know what was on this package, but for no reason at all, my dog grabbed it off the table and uh, caught him chewing on it. So let's hope they put it in the card saver one. It feels like they did. If not, we could be uh, looking at a disaster here of a return. Um, this one came back from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania on the 30th. Okay, flip it around and we've got TJ McConnell, current NBA player with the Pacers. Oh, very exciting. Looks like uh, the card saver held up well under the uh, bite of my dog. And there we have a one of one return rookie card from Don Ross. go looks like it did take oh it did get ruined i just now noticed it got bent up okay oh man that's a bummer this is the second card i've sent to tj mcconnell um the first one he actually signed the back of the card i think he got confused on what was the front and the back this one my dog got a hold of it don't know why he did he's he literally doesn't chew up anything anymore but um, he must have smelled something on there. Who knows? So there we go. A one one from TJ McConnell to end it. Let's get to our video recap. Here we go, guys. Time to recap this week's returns. I want to thank you all for subscribing to the channel and checking out the video. Looking forward to reading the comments on this one. Um, if you haven't had a chance yet, I did put out a top 10 2023 return video um, if you haven't had a chance go through there some uh, some nice returns from last year I got big plans for this year 
In fact, I'm gonna put out a video that may come out before this one or slightly after that's gonna show you which cards I'm gonna be sending off in the coming weeks and uh, just kind of talk through some of those a bit. But um, let's recap it. So 1991 Pinnacle for Sean Lindetta. I had a 101 from Earl Boykins and a 101 from Steve Largent. Uh, went with the 1992 Fleer for one dog, Lance Johnson. Went with the 95-96 Fleer, the expansion card for the Grizzlies for uh, Kenny Gaddison. And just had the uh, 101 rookie card for TJ McConnell. So that's all six of my returns up and all six of them down. Uh, we will see you next week with a brand new video, guys. Thanks for checking out the channel and we will see you on the next one.